which magnesium and how much should you take? In this video, we're gonna go over all the details. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down below that has legitimate research on magnesium and its effect on many different things in the body, but particularly what we're concerned about here is heart disease, high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, inflammation, that type of thing. So let me tell you first how much to take. You should be taking about 400 milligrams per day if you're a male, 310 if you're a female, and what type should we take? Well, there's many different types, and which one should you choose? I'm gonna put a link down below, down to Amazon, if you wanna get the one that I take, it's called Magnesium Citrate, and it works extremely well. It's easy to take, it's easy to swallow, it is tolerated extremely well, at least by me. And many patients that I recommend this to, you know, one out of a hundred may have a problem with it. And when we say problem, meaning diarrhea. So some people notice that magnesium citrate gives them some diarrhea. So if it gives you diarrhea, try a different one. Magnesium glyconate seems to be one that when people can't tolerate magnesium citrate, they go to that one. Same amount, 400 or 310, depending on if you're a male or female. And some people will notice that the magnesium glyconate seems to work a little better if you have anxiety. It tends to relax you a little bit more. Now, what about magnesium oxide? That's available. Most people will find that it doesn't seem to work as well as the others. And the reason why is because it's not as absorbable in our digestive tract. So stick with the first two and you should be doing okay. Now, why should you be taking a magnesium supplement? The reason why is because for most people, they're just not getting enough of it inside their diet. Let me give you some foods that actually have a lot of magnesium in it. So if you wanna try that route, you can actually just eat these foods. And I'll tell you how easy it is. Now the first food, the one that has a tremendous amount of magnesium in it, but I personally do not like, but you may like, let me know in the comment section, are pumpkin seeds. Now an, an ounce of pumpkin seeds has literally half of the magnesium that we need for the entire day. And when we say an ounce, we mean it'll fit in the small of your palm. That's how much an ounce is. It isn't that much. So two ounces of pumpkin seeds gives you 400, almost 400 milligrams of magnesium per day. That's amazing. So other foods that I particularly like better, such as almonds, cashews, dark chocolate, for all of those, about one ounce is 80 milligrams of magnesium. So if you think about it, if you had two ounces of almonds, one ounce of cashews, and one ounce of dark chocolate, you're covered for the entire day. And of course, to me, that tastes pretty good. Now let's talk about spinach. Spinach has a lot of magnesium in it. However, you do need to eat a, pr a pretty good amount of spinach. A half a cup of spinach has 80 milligrams of magnesium, which actually means that you need to eat about two and a half cups of spinach to get 400 milligrams of magnesium. There's an actual way to do this. If you do not like spinach or you're afraid of spinach because you heard it, it's bad for the kidneys, when you cook the spinach, it actually reduces the amount of oxalates in them. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna put a link, or it's not a link, it's a box. So at the end of the video, somewhere on the bottom, I'm not, I don't know which side yet, I'm gonna put a link of a recipe and I'm gonna show you how I cook spinach to make it absolutely, totally delicious. And I challenge you to make this recipe and see if you like it. It tastes wonderful. And it's easy to actually use about two and a half cups of spinach because once you cook it, it shrinks up. So try that. Salmon also has some magnesium as well as avocado. So you can see that if you eat these foods that are actually healthy, then you're probably not gonna have a problem with magnesium. However, if, if you're one of those people that your diet just is not perfect and you're not eating these particular foods, then go ahead and supplement with it. And if you yourself take a magnesium supplement, let us know in the comment section which one you're taking, how often you're taking it, how much you're taking, and what effects of magnesium you've had on your health. I'm sure that other people would love to read your comment and to learn from it because ultimately magnesium is probably the best supplement that you can take.